We're fighting back with everything that we've got. The virtual briefing started with the mayor, followed by the acting U.S. attorney for Oregon, the Multnomah County Sheriff, and Portland Deputy Police Chief, all white men. But they were joined by three black community leaders who had powerful things to say about their city, including Portland basketball icon Terry Porter. I'm speaking out today as someone who loves Portlanders and someone who is deeply concerned about the future of our city. Concerned because of the damage Portland is enduring. Former State Senator Avel Gordley says at the hands of misguided anarchists who reject civility. And instead, intentionally create mayhem through criminally destructive behavior, tearing up our city, and this must stop. The community leaders did not directly address the tactic of kettling, where police corral a large group of people, but they were there to support the mayor's office and continued peaceful protests like this vigil for Breonna Taylor over the weekend and the vast majority of true Black Lives Matter demonstrations. But those that continue to cause destruction and vandalize the small businesses in our city, our great city, our beautiful city, I have a message. This is not what Black Lives Movement is about. It is definitely your constitutional right to march and protest when you think our government is not listening. But it is certainly not your right to create violence and destruction upon merchants and our once beautiful city. Please stop it today. Tim Gordon, KGW News.